Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Fabian Calvo, Fabian for Liberty, reporting for AMTV News. So, a explosive story in World Net Daily, Jerome Corsi, coming out and saying that Barack Obama's uh, brother, Malik Obama, is linked to the Muslim Brotherhood. Not only linked, but he's actually running their whole entire like investment portfolio. According to the vice president of the Supreme Court, um, uh, Supreme Constitutional Court of Egypt, a guy by the name of Tahani al-Jabali, he says, quote, to inform the American people that their president's brother, Obama, is one of the architects of the major investments of the Muslim Brotherhood. You know, story came out a couple of, I think it was last week, where basically during the uh, so-called Osama bin Laden murder, if you believe that narrative, or not murder, but when he was killed, um, that Barack Obama wasn't even in the room. In fact, he was mostly playing cards because he didn't want to even see what was even happening. You know, there's people out there that think he's a Muslim. I don't necessarily think he's a Muslim. I think he has a lot of sympathies towards Muslims. But stories like these definitely, I think, are more proof that there is a full-blown destabilization campaign that is sweeping North North Africa, started in, uh, in Tunisia, then in Libya, then in Egypt, where now basically Christians are being totally slaughtered. Um, you know, there's a military dictatorship basically, and the military's taken over, but they took over from a, um, uh, the Muslim Brotherhood, which basically wanted to implement Sharia law and create a theocracy. So you tell me what's better. Um, so Obama's clearly, you know, the people at the New World Order, uh, the elite globalists have definitely put him in place because they know that there is a global economic reset on the way. And part of uh, being able to back all of this, you know, fraudulent debt that's in the system is by taking over the resources uh, of oil, mainly in the Middle East. So that's why they create these destabilization campaigns to make sure that there is not enough uh, stability in these countries where then they could come in and basically exploit oil, uh, everything else, uh, natural gas, you name it. That's why you see it happening in Syria. You see it happening everywhere else. So they have put in, literally, uh, they have put the architecture in place, put someone in who has sympathies with the Muslim Brotherhood in office, who's literally meeting with Muslim Brotherhood operatives at the White House, uh, which is just completely mind-blowing. Now, the other point that I'd make as well is that... Um, you remember a few years ago, there was a burning of a Koran in Afghanistan, and, and Barack Obama apologized for, you know, how basically insensitive the U.S. military was, or how Americans are insensitive, and what have you. But in Egypt, over the last couple of weeks, Christians have literally been decapitated in the streets in broad daylight. Uh, there was a picture that was amazing of a... Uh, taxi cab driver that was a Christian with a cross hanging on his uh, on his window, rear view mirror. They dragged him out of his car, beat him up. Uh, he was killed. Um, churches being burned down. And not one word from this president whatsoever about the complete, you know, uh, extermination of Christians, Coptic Christians in Egypt. So what does that tell you about this president? What does it tell you about the agenda of uh, the globalists and what their plans are for the Middle East and for North Africa? I'm Fabian for Liberty, reporting for AMTV News. Thanks for watching. I'm out.